Hello everyone, my name is Chameleon, and in this series I share unpopular opinions of mine on movies, TV shows, and games. So with that, today I'll be explaining why I believe Rise of the Guardians is the best Christmas movie, period. Now, I'm not trying to tell you this as a fact, nor am I trying to change your mind. All I ask is that you hear me out. Christmas can be a dreadfully nostalgic beast. It's always better when you're young. The old songs are the best, and a Christmas film isn't a quote-unquote classic unless it predates the year 2000. It is this blind nostalgia that can often lead to unjust dismissal when it comes to family films. You could know literally nothing about a film, but because it is new, any likeness drawn with your favourites will put you on the defensive. It's just a ripoff of Gremlins or it's no home alone. Well, Rise of the Guardians is a new film, and I strongly argue that it deserves a spot amongst the best of the festive crop, so to speak. All-star cast. If you're watching it for the very first time, you might have no idea what to expect with characters like Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, the Easter Bunny and Jack Frost all in the same film. However, the film reinvents all of these characters with fantastic abilities and weapons to fight evil. Not only do kids love seeing these beloved characters on the big screen, but there's a lot of stuff in here for adults to enjoy too. There is so much lore introduced from why Tooth Fairy collects teeth to the very unique homeworld of the Easter Bunny. North is a radically different interpretation of Santa Claus, but every aspect of the character has been well thought out. From how his magic works, to him being characterized as a bold hero. It was clear that DreamWorks went all out with the cast for every character voiced by an A-list actor. As Jack Frost, Chris Pine shines in one of his best movies, and Hugh Jackman's enjoyable performance as the Easter Bunny was glorious. But Alec Baldwin steals the show as Santa Claus. Jude Law delivers a sinister performance as Pitch Black, and even Isla Fisher makes the Tooth Fairy so likeable with her energy and emotion. All of the characters have wonderful chemistry with each other, which really helps the audience feel more connected to the characters and their story. Visually stunning. This will come as no surprise to anyone who is familiar with DreamWorks movies. The 3D animation is absolutely beautiful. From the detail of Tooth Fairy's feathers, to the sand particles that make up both Sandman and Pitch Black's powers, Rise of the Guardians translated from its concept art beautifully to create a visually stunning film. There is so much attention to detail, even during fast-paced action sequences with so many different powers and abilities happening at once. The different worlds the Guardians visit are all visualized from top to bottom with such care it's enough to make one's jaw drop even today. Well-placed humor. As much as Rise of the Guardians is this epic fantasy superhero tale, it retains its DreamWorks core. Jack Frost is a wisecracking hero who delivers some funny lines, especially when he's interacting with the Easter Bunny. The mute Sandman's comedy is delivered purely through visuals in a highly creative way. Even Pitch Black has a few witty lines, but the funniest character of the film by far is North. The character is happiness and joy personified, while also having an appearance 
that makes him seem intimidating and it's impossible not to laugh when he laughs. The good humour of the film makes it a perfect holiday flick for everyone to enjoy. Enjoyable for all ages. Now, there are holiday specials clearly made for young kids, but when watching Rise of the Guardians, like with many other DreamWorks films, parents will be just as invested as the kids. There are plenty of wild and colourful moments to enjoy, however, with the inclusion of the villain Pitch Black, there are also plenty of darker moments too. It's never dark enough to be too much for kids, but provides a perfectly balanced tone for the entire family. Emotional Messages In any good superhero story, there is usually a tragedy to elevate the hero's story. Rise of the Guardians is no different, and it is actually surprising how dark it gets, particularly with the origin story of Jack Frost. Showing how he came to be is very likely going to make some viewers shed some tears. Even the plight of Pitch Black is somewhat understandable, even if he is going about it in the most wrong ways possible. When the villain is more than evil for the sake of evil, it makes the character far more believable and many can relate to just wanting to be seen and not be alone. From the importance of teamwork to remembering that a little bit of fun can go a long way, Rise of the Guardians excels at teaching morals to younger audiences. Each character has their own personal issues to overcome, and in typical animated fashion, they all learn the hard lessons they need and become good friends along the way. Though not without its cliches, the journey the Guardians go on is an enjoyable one to watch with valuable lessons for kids and adults alike. Childhood joy and wonder, along with hope, memories and dreams, play an important role in the film, forging the Guardians to work together to protect each of their roles in the lives of children around the world. It's a beautiful story about holidays and coming together in goodwill, which is enough to put anyone into the spirit of the season. Rise of the Guardians is irrefutable proof that great Christmas films are still being made. It's fun, festive, and everything you could hope for in a Christmas classic. And the best part about this entire thing is that Rise of the Guardians being the best Christmas film is just my opinion. And at the end of the day, that's all it is. It's just my opinion. It's not fact. Regardless of whether your opinion aligns with mine or vastly differs, I honestly really want to hear about it down in the comments below. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Why do you disagree with me? I want to hear about it. I've got a lot of stuff coming up uh, in the new year, so stay close to my YouTube channel um, and my Discord. Uh, more announcements coming, but otherwise you can watch Hear Us Out live on Twitch every second Sunday. Uh, and that is where I get together with friends of mine to hash out some of these conversations over a two hour period. So again, all the, all the links are in the description below. All my announcements tend to happen on Discord, but I will be posting a video here on YouTube with updates and hopeful plans moving into 2023. Regardless though of whether you do like, comment, dislike, subscribe, regardless of any of that, thank you for clicking on the video in the first place, but more importantly, thank you for hearing me out. I hope you all have a safe and happy Christmas, and I'll hope to see you all in the new year, but until then, once again, thank you for hearing me out.